Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can read the ProSoft configuration from the module into your ProSoft configuration builder application here. So uh, the ProSoft module that I will be reading from, the model number is MVI56E-Mnet ProSoft card. So uh, I have this ProSoft configuration builder here. Uh, this is a software. So in order to read, you have to select the card itself on the left hand side here by doing that. So when you do that, you can see that this errors get enabled. To read from the module, you have to click on this up arrow key. You can see on the comment in blue is showing as upload from module. Another way to read from the card would be right clicking on the module model number itself. Sorry, module number right click here. You can see upload from device to PC. So once you select that, you'll be confronted with this window here. Make sure that it's selected with 1756ENBT. Uh, That's the card that I have uh, in my network. That's why I'm going through that connection type. So another one is the CIP connect. This is not something that you key in manually. This is uh, something that uh, is order generated. How you do it is by clicking RS who and it'll give you the list of all the devices that are, that are available on the network. PLC that I'm after is right here. This guy here. And from there, you expand your backplane. And from there, you look for your MVI 56E card here. Then when you click on it and you hit OK, it will create this uh, CIP connect. So let's take a closer look at it. So uh, if I go RS2 again, I see that uh, my Mnet card is in slot 11 and there's only one rack, right? So the first section it talks about is your IP addresses, uh, T colon IP address, then P1. I'm not too sure what P stands for, probably a processor. So P1 and S colon 11 is slot 11 and dollar 56. And I think 56 stands for the MVI 56 there. Uh, another way to look at it is if you click on CIP path edit, you can actually see that uh, it talks about the same path uh, 11. You can hit uh, construct CIP path and you can see it creates 56 here. So I know that this configuration of mine is correct. So it's going to cancel it. Uh, you can do a test connect and this is what should we, we should be getting and now to read from the controller you go upload and it will say upload completed and hit OK and now you have the latest and the greatest file from the POSA module. I hope this uh, quick little tip will help you. Uh, other than that, have a good day. Bye.